some very interesting things in today's first reading. Note this line, soul worked for the total destruction of the church. Saul, who became Saint Paul, was out to destroy the church. That was his story one day, but the next day he will start building up the church. That's about the ways of God. Never write off anybody. Never write off anybody. Whether they are to destroy the church, they are enemies of the church, whether they are non-believers, atheists, Richard Dawkins, whoever they are, don't write off anybody. Pray for people like Richard Dawkins for his conversion. He's also a child of God. He doesn't know who he is or who God is. So don't condemn them. Don't just say, oh, they are not, they are God's children. They could be as... He could be a Saint Paul one day. Who knows? Who knows? So hold on to just uh, 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 be slow in judging anybody. I would say don't judge anybody at all. His story today is like, but tomorrow he could be somebody else, a saint. Another thing is about Philip and Samaria. You know the story, Samaria, Samaritan woman. What did she do? She went back. She put her pot and water there and she went back to the town to tell everybody about Jesus. The first evangelist for a whole city or town. After, if you remember the gospel, it, it's a very important. After, the, if you remember the gospel, after the woman went away to her town, Jesus told his disciples, "Remember these words: You reap what others have sowed. One sows, and another reaps. You are going to enjoy the fruit of others' labor." What is the connection? Years later, maybe three, four years later, Philip, one of the disciples, will go to Samaria and preach the gospel there, but the foundation had been laid by the Samaritan woman. Here, Philip enjoys the fruit of that sinful woman's hard work. What is the lesson for all in all this? You see, our understanding of time and history is always circular. Things happen again. Wars happen again. Ukraine, another next year, another country, the wars happen again and again. We see things in going in circles. We do the same thing again. Monday to Sunday, Sunday to Monday, the day that the calendar keeps on repeating, but God's ways are linear. God doesn't repeat anything at all. Everything is going forward, all going forward, linear. Your life and our life is always linear. Even though we look at the calendar, life is going forward. So the fruits of our labor, don't look at the, 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 the fruits today. Whether what you are doing is bearing fruit, no, you are not going to see the fruits of your labor. In the years to come, there could be some harvest. That's why everything you do, I do, everything is significant. Don't in things in terms of fruits and effects and, oh, is anything good happening? No, you're not good. Don't worry. You do what you are supposed to do. You may not be here tomorrow, but tomorrow somebody else will come and enjoy the fruit of your labor. Always think of what Mike has done with his stained glass windows. Almost a year's work standing on his feet, looking, taking care of this big project. The fruits of his labor, in the years to come, others will enjoy. And they will remember God, the beauty of God, because these stained glass windows, they carry some mystery. 
This carries some mystery because it is not what you really see. There's something more which is one has just to explore and understand. Even the artist may not be able to make us understand all that he has put into those windows. My point here is, do what we can in the time given to us. The fruits, the harvest is in the hand of God. <laughs>